I must be a witch, because they say Rosemary by the garden gate keeps the witches away. I must be a witch, it's true. Out there, YouTube, I have been talking to you um, about what I am making, and I've made this for years. I never really thought about making it and I'm showing you guys. And it is so easy, and I have so many people always ask, pizza with potato, what is that? It is my favorite dish when we go to Italy, my favorite pizza. It is basically pizza with potato. So I'm going to try to show you... Um, how I make it. It's really simple. Um, if you like potatoes and you like pizza, you're probably going to like it. So I am going to get started and just show you really quick how you can make this. Now, I hope this works. I have not. This is my little new handy dandy tripod that Andrea got me. And we're going to hope to goodness it works. So I will try to keep you updated. Now I'm using my KitchenAid mixer and I am just going to, I just wash this out. Okay, uh, this very simple. We're going to make the dough and then I'll come back and show you the toppings. This is about one and a half cups of hot water. It's, it's warm. So I'm gonna put that in my mixer. Let's hope you can see this. Don't really have a mixer cam, but we'll see how it goes. Um, to that, I am going to add my olive oil. This is just simply olive oil I keep uh, in a bottle I got um, at Italy. Now, I'm just going to pour some of this in. I'm going to say it's probably about three tablespoons um, in there. Then I'm going to add my yeast to that. This is just how I do it. I am not a professional cook. I don't claim to be. This is that huge thing of the yeast that I got at Sam's. Um, so we'll just see how it works. I am going to use about two, use two, one, two teaspoons. I'm actually gonna do two and a half teaspoons. And this is just the yeast. And then put that, I really wish I had a jar to keep my yeast in, but I don't. I'm going to keep this in the fridge. I've never bought this much yeast at a time, but we'll hope that it works. I have my potatoes all ready to go. Um, I'm going to get my flour here. I'm going to grab a fork and just kind of show you over here. There we go. And that's what it looks like. I'm just kind of... Now, you shouldn't over mix your yeast, but I just try to kind of hit it a little bit, get it mixed up. Of course, the dogs are going to start. Um, so I've got that in there. My salt. I just always open it over a salt bowl. Nobody wants to spill salt. I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt. To that then I am going to add my flour now this is truly eyeballing it I have made this so much we're gonna see what I put in there and then you will know and I will know for when to tell somebody that's one cup I know we at least have the two cups of flour now my bowl has my regular paddle that comes with my bowl and I'm just going to mix it up. Now it's going to need more flour. I'm going to try to quit picking you up because now this is going to require, this will require a little bit more flour. This is just a scoop. It's about a half scoop come together and I just don't want to mix it like crazy so I turn it off in between and this is just for pizza dough. I'm going to turn it on a little bit more. As you can hear it and as I see it it's starting to come away from the bowl. I'm not going to keep moving this camera. So I know this uses at least three cups of flour. Now, if you're making one pizza, you can use one cup of flour or one cup of water. I really use a little bit more because I'm going to do more than one pizza. And it depends on how thick you like your crust. We like our crust uh, kind of doughy. 
although the pizza one will be a little bit thinner. Okay. So this is about where I want it. And this is just easier because I'm lazy. Let me move this back out of the way. Grab my other flower. This is how it looks. So if you see, it's just started to come away from the bowl. I will have to peel it off of the beater. I'm gonna move you back over here. You can kind of see what that looks like. So this is what it's looking like on the beater. Typically I just do this this way. Now I'm not gonna do it any different just because I'm showing you because I think we all need an easier way of doing it. I just basically pull this dough off. And if you don't have a mixer, you can mix this just with a fork and a bowl. I'm gonna pull this off of there. And that's just about good. Now it's a little bit too sticky to work with but it's really where I want it because I don't want a ton of flour in this. So this is how we roll. Pop the lid off the oil. I pour oil in my hands, rub it together. There's no need to make a mess out of your counter and there's no need to get another bowl. We just kind of work with it a little bit in our hands. It is sticky, but I don't want it overly floured. So I'm just kind of getting it into a ball that I can work with. Here it is. I'm going to pour oil over the top. There's a little oil in the bowl and there it is. And I'm just gonna set it aside. There's not a definite amount of resting time. We're just gonna set this aside until we get our other ingredients ready. And I will show you what that looks like. So while our dough is resting, we're gonna get our other stuff ready. I am just going to cover this. This is just a lint-free cloth. It's actually a bread cloth. We have several of those from Italy and I'm just gonna set this, it's over here on the side. I'm gonna pick all my other things up and I'm gonna show you how we get our potatoes ready to go. All right, so I'm just gonna grate, I just have a regular bowl. I'm gonna grate some of my Parmesan cheese. This is just that chunk I bought on one of my grocery hauls. I just use the smaller portion. Move it over here. So, so there is the Parmesan cheese. These are just two potatoes and you're going to want to slice these really thin. If you have a food processor, it makes this a whole lot easier. If you don't have a food processor, then just cut them yourself by hand is fine, but you want them really thin. That's about the thickness of these. And this is the two potatoes. So that is done. So this is our dough. Um, you can feel it has risen a little bit. It is pizza dough. Now you can let this rise. It depends on how you like your crust. You can let it rise all you want. Um, but this is about where I want it for my dough. So I will show you. So it's about twice the size that it was. You can feel that yeast is working and it's getting really springy. So I'm gonna set my oven to 450 and then we'll speed this up a little bit and I'll show you how I put this pizza together. Again, it's just the crust the potatoes that we sliced, some Parmesan cheese. I have some regular uh, mozzarella cheese. I have the Lowry's coarse ground uh, garlic salt. And we'll see what else we throw on there. So let's make our pizza.
All right, so we are just waiting for the pizza to get done. Wow, that was really dark. Um, I'll spin around this way. So I pretty much got all of my kitchen cleaned back up. There are all of my dishes. I just think that's a crucial part of cooking is cleaning up your stinking mess. And that's why I hate my kids to cook because I want their messes cleaned up um, as they go. So everything's cleaned up. My bowl with the dough is soaking. That guy's waiting to go in. That's the pepperoni and we'll take a peek. And there is the potato. Now I will say it's crisping up nice. As soon as that comes out, I will take a stick of butter and I will butter the edges um, of the crust. It'll make them nice and buttery. And then we'll probably just slice that one into squares. You don't have to have a round pizza pan. Uh, to make your pizza. So I used all my butter last night and should have bought more butter today. I'm stuck with margarine, which is not my favorite. But anyway, I will show you what it looks like in just a minute. I'm going to go switch laundry over and get stuff ready to go. I'll see you in a minute. All right, guys, and that is it out of the oven. I will show you the crust underneath. Um, it's just really crispy and ready to go. I'm just going to take this butter and God love people that make cooking videos. This is not easy. And I just rub that butter along the edge and it'll soften it up a little bit. So I'm gonna slice that up and it is ready to go. It's really good. Um, if you like this video, thumbs up, comment, leave me um, what you think about it if you make it. Um, I hope everybody enjoys. Thanks. One more thing I was going to tell you guys is you can put um, rosemary or basil on this pizza. I do not like rosemary or basil. Um, I mean, I like basil. I can't, I just, I can't stand rosemary. I must be a witch because they say rosemary by the garden gate keeps the witches away. I see a witch. It's true. So here it is. The inside pieces are soft. The outside pieces are crunchy. Let me know if you try it.